my life is an eclectic mess and I love having random things that I emerge myself in. Hi, my name is Brandy. Some of my accomplishments include wife, mom, friend, honey lady, entrepreneur, and farm girl. Follow along with me as I discover other things I am passionate about. The first on my list is achieving my private pilot's license. Why? Because why not? My favorite thing in life is proving to myself that I'm a badass. Plus, my husband is a pilot and we have already managed to take the air coast to coast. In my vlog, you'll see the journey to discovering more, parts of my real life, and places we travel to. So hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to like my videos. It kind of moves a little bit right now. Yep. The wind don't know. So when we're taking off now, we're going to put the ailer on so we're gonna steer into the wind when we're, when we're on the ground just to make it easier to stay center line on the runway otherwise it's really easy to to come off okay so we steer into the wind so direction. steer into the wind yeah all right so we're ready to go all right yep three one right three one yeah Cowsville city Cessna six eight victor taking runway three one Hellsville City. Good. Should oh. I have said like anything after that, after like, or we just say it when we're in the air? No, this is good now. Yeah, I mean, we can say that we're gonna do a southbound departure. You can say that right away if you want, or when you're, you know, up on a downwind or something, you can report downwind and, and you can say that you're leaving the pattern. It's okay. nothing is right or wrong. It's just, okay. you know, you know, okay. to tell them. Oh, all right. Not like there's many out there right no, now. No, <laughs> but still. <laughs> All right, then I don't see anybody. We didn't right. hear any chatter. Nope, no one on the runway. Okay, feet are off. Hands on the power. Good. And I'm gonna get out there. I think I'm gonna put my sunglasses on though. I always told my husband he always sounds like he has a stuffy nose when he talks on this. Oh. <laughs> Got okay. the pilot voice. Yes. Okay. Great. Okay. Sunglasses are on. So the wind is blowing like this, right? You can yep. see. So that means you're holding it there. Perfect. Hold it just like this. Yep. And here. Yep. Perfect. And feet off the brake yep. and full power. Full power. Okay, feet are off the brake. Oops, let's get this way. Okay. Feet are on, only the ailerons. And hold it. Yep, perfect. And power all the way. There you go. Engine instruments are green. Okay. Your airspeed is coming alive there. Okay, we're ready to pull. Yep. Ready to rotate. And then we're going to slowly turn your okay. steering wheel back. Perfect. Nice. Oh, wrong and, way. Yeah. No, Come that's, a, that's okay. It, it's just a, you know. Oh. Okay. Oh. And now you can give some right rudder there. Right rudder. Okay. There you go. A little different. Rudder. Oh. Yep. Might be a down. little bit. Might be a little bit of uh, bumps. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> okay, we're still climbing. Good. And right rudder. Okay. Nose down a little bit. Uh -huh. It wants to put the nose up, doesn't it? Yep. And there you go, you've got 500, 500 so you can start turning. Okay, turning. Oh, come on. Right, rudder. Yeah, one of the uh, Josh students uh, Gave him a t-shirt that says, more right rudder. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it works better when I say it out loud what I need to do. <laughs> it actually does, because if you learn, if you look at how, how a person learn, the more senses you take in when you're learning, the better you learn. So you actually hear yourself saying it. Yes. And, and the same time as you're doing it, you're actually going to learn better. Okay, 5,000. So it's good. <laughs> Now can we pull down power a little bit? Well, yeah, let's or do 55, 5,500. Okay. 5,500. Yep. Okay. Maybe a little smoother. 
Yeah, and also the reason is because we're going to cruise down here, and when you're cruising on VFR altitude, when you go from zero down to 179 uh, headings, you cruise on e uh, uneven plus 500, oh, so 3,500, okay. 5,500, and so on. Okay. And when you go from 180 up to 359, you cruise on even plus 500 for VFR traffic. So that's why we're going to we're gonna choose now uh, 55. Okay, so 55, almost. There you go. And we're going to trim out a little bit to maintain. Perfect. There we go. Nice. And we're in the green there. Yep, you yep. can pull it down to maybe like 2300. Okay. Oh. 23. And we're going up a little more still. Okay. Uh -huh. And now since we're up on altitude here, we can turn off the landing light and the strobe oh, yeah. light. Okay. Uh, there you go. Perfect. Ronan area traffic, Cessna 68 Victor, four miles out, joining left downwind for runway 34. Runman traffic. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so we're at 4,025. Almost a traffic pattern. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. 4 1. Okay. So when you're coming down here now to the traffic pattern altitude, you can do your check, your landing checklist right away, so you have that down. Okay, so landing checklist is that fuel. Fuel, yes, mixture is lean. Um, are we pulling carbs uh -huh. now? You can do that. Yep. Okay, carbs. Carbs are pulled. Okay, landing light. Yep. Strobe light. Yep. And then we are going to check our tires. Yep, we do have tire on the right side. Okay. And that's it. Okay. You're okay. good. Now and we're just going to fly the airplane. We're set for t uh, for landing. Now we just have to check the wind to make sure we're going to keep this uh, this pattern or if we're going to switch. Okay. And then when we're beam the number, we're going to pull the power. 1500 and flaps. Yes. Wind in the white arc. Correct. Oh, there we are, 41. Ronan area traffic, Cessna 68 Victor, uh, crossing midfield to enter downwind for runway 16. Ronan traffic. Oh, oh I, yep. there you Sorry. Take your altitude. That's okay. Doing too much. <laughs> That's okay. All right, there you go. Level out here now. Okay. Perfect. Bubbling out, foot's there. And now when we are be beam the number okay. there. Are down. Hands. And we have the wind coming from here, so we're gonna keep the nose a little bit like that. Okay. And we're gonna fly down with the nose angle like that to keep center line. Okay. And For then 70. There you go. Good. Okay. Powers out. Perfect. Okay. Alright. Gonna have to go back a little bit with the nose. Okay, and then looking. we're gonna use the rudder okay. at the end. Look at the back here now, okay. look, and you're going to just wait. There, and now we move it into the wind there, and just keep it there to the wind oh. on the runway. There we go. 
Yeah, so when we're doing a crosswind landing, the same thing when we're landing it, we put as soon as we land on the runway, we move it into the wind, and that's okay. gonna keep it. If it's a really bad wind, and you land and you just let go, whew, you're gonna fly off. But if you okay. keep it like this, you're forcing yourself to, you know, hold yourself into the wind easier. So, okay. Roni on traffic, Cessna 9 or 568 Victor, taking runway 16 for northbound departure. Roni on traffic. Perfect. All right. Nobody is out there. I don't hear people. Feet are off the brakes. Hand yeah. is on the power. Going to turn it up a little bit so we can get going. And the dot, like when the sun starts going down like this, sometimes there's a lot of animals out. Yeah. All right, here we are. We are center almost right there. Yeah. Okay, center. Thank you so much for your support and watching yet another one of my vlogs. I am so ecstatic that you just want to be part of this journey with me. So a little bit of next week's vlog, we are going to be practicing simulated engine failures in the air. So if, if your engine goes out, what do you do? What are the steps? And we're also going to have a run in with another pilot in the air, not really run in, but we're both coming into the airport for landing, same time, same distance away. Who's going to turn out first? Come back next week. Hey!